And your chance to have your say community forum all next week. The Ball Ball Shire wants to hear from you because yep. they want to eliminate smoking from outdoor areas. Good on them. They've Why already are we taken that crap. They've taken the next step, obviously, from you know not allowed to uh, smoke in indoor areas. You're not allowed to smoke at major sporting events, that kind of thing. Well, they want to take the next step. They want to Good. say, look, any uh, shopping precinct, any outdoor cafe, restaurant, yes. they want your say is. Do we eliminate it entirely? It's, it's become that's for the smokers. On a beautiful, nice day, you can't eat or drink outside because all the smokers are taking it up. Well, that's not fair. I think it's we're ridiculous. Just take. There is that element of taking it one step too it's far, and it's it's a bigger smoke. it's a bigger picture now. It's businesses are going to suffer because of it, and we are basically singling out certain groups of people. 13, 12, 16. What do you guys think of this whole smoking ban in the public places outdoors? Ryan from Derrylang, what are your thoughts? Oh, discrimination, absolute discrimination. I think Ryan should probably probably tame it down a bit to start off with. <laughs> you're, you're, so, dis- you're discriminating against non-smokers, though, saying no, it's uh, discriminating hey, against you, smokers. You were, talk- you were talking about how, how not smart that, um, the smokers are before. If we're dumb, we should crawl back into our hole. How smart are you? You think you're going to get cancer by walking past someone in the street with a smoke in their mouth? Well, I never once said walking past someone on the street, but what I, what I did say, I, I said you'd, you'd have to be stupid to knowingly do something that is proven to make you extremely ill, if not kill you. Oh, so you don't drink, Ryan? Is that right? Do I, I don't... Hang on, this is not an alcoholic conversation, mate. <laughs> I don't know, but it is. You said that it's not something that would kill you. I, I well, certainly, I I certainly don't really. drink. I certainly don't drink to the excess that would kill me. And, and you know, having a drink compared to smoking is two different things. Ryan, this, is what this is what I'm saying. This is why smokers are... are they, they're excuse people and oh. they're idiots. Ryan, are you a smoker hey, yourself? Hey. Hey, are you a smoker yourself? Yeah, I am. Of course he's a smoker. No, 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 no. Of course he's a smoker. Uh, I, what I was going to lead no to was, would this, the would this stop you going out, going to cafes, restaurants, I going out? Oh. Um, yeah, I do. But uh, I'll have a smoke outside. Isn't that my choice? Isn't no, it's not your choice, mate. Right? It's not your choice. If I'm sitting on the table next to you as kids having a meal, we, we don't need that you. stuff you know, wafting any across. Smart, any smart person is not going to sit there and blow smoking a kid's face, are they? Oh, no. no, that's right. Yeah, you control the wind, don't you, mate? You're so smart, smokers. <laughs> oh, they control thank the you. wind. Oh, you two are getting right up. Thank you for your call, Ryan. John from Druin. Uh, smoking outside, should we ban it? No. No? no? Why do you say that? Definitive. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, if you uh, go outside with your wife and you want to enjoy, uh, it's actually uh, uh, Simon or whatever his name, uh, is actually t- uh, talking crap because it's, it's not the way you're actually not smoking an uh, indoor area. Yep. And uh, first of all, another thing, uh, it, that's not nice to make other people idiots mm-hmm. that they're blowing in their face. Actually, we're not blowing to nobody's face uh, the smoke. I don't think you're directly oh hurting. God. I don't think you're directly hurting See, anyone. If listen. you have significant smoking areas to non-smoking, it doesn't mean you all intermingle outside. Every smoke is killing you, smokers. Can you hear me? Yeah, Every yes, smoke is your... killing you, you idiots. Every oh. smoke. Listen, that's not nice. First of all, I think you shouldn't work there. Passive because... smoking. <laughs> passive Passive smoking kills people. Listen up. Passive smoking kills. That's not your business. It's my business if I don't want to die. All right, oh, he's, my... I'm gonna. I'm, I've got to hang up on this guy because he's frustrating me. It, it is. What is your problem, okay. people? The Borbor Shire have a massive challenge on their hands next week. They're holding forums right across the Shire: yeah. Trafalgar, Warrigal, Drew, and Yarragon, Long Warri, about banning outdoor smoking in areas of cafes, restaurants, any public areas, shopping centres. It's up for discussion. It's not going to happen just yet. But they want to know your your thoughts on it. And so we thought we'd open up the, the public forum this morning. Your forum will start it early. It's and been the Yellow Ryan day. It has you know, slightly Yellow been Ryan day. All eventual I'm, frustration at my co-host All we're trying to say is you know, we, sh- we should definitely get rid of this because we, it's not our choice to breathe this crap in. And then they go, oh, we're not going to blow it in your face. Yeah, of course. We have had a <sighs> lot of heated debate. It's actually more so uneducated idiots. Oh. And and me uh, being smart and having actually an, an, an opinion. But that's what it's been so far. Please tell me we've got some smart people, Stampsy. Belinda from Lee and Gatha, you believe it should be banned? Yes, I do, and I am one of the smart people. You are. Well, number one, because you're from Lee and Gatha. That's number one. <laughs> the Gatha. No well, one disses the Gatha. And number two, you are a smart lady. Tell us why. I'm actually a reformed smoker, so I was one of those people, yep. but I never smoked in public, blowing it in people's faces because it does smell like crud. And you've actually and got a personal. You've got a personal investment into why it should be banned as well. 
I do. My daughter's a chronic asthmatic, so we can't actually sit outside at cafes anymore because people yeah. are so ignorant to the fact that if they have a cigarette near my daughter, she will end up in hospital. And you know what? She, she actually needs fresh air. She does, and she's been hospitalised over eight times already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, it's from people just sitting there going, well, you don't need to breathe it in. Well, we'd like to sit in the sunshine too, mate, but we don't want to catch cancer while we're doing it. And the worst thing is, you know, I've been yelled at this morning, people going, we don't blow it in your face purposely. Can I just say, you know, I know, you don't of, need to. I know of a 50-year-old woman who is dying of cancer right now, and she's never smoked a cigarette in her life. Wow. Guess what? Exactly. Guess, but guess what? Her husband is a heavy smoker. Wow. Yeah. Now listen up, everyone. Did you hear that story? Mm. D- d- does it take? What does it take to get through to you guys? Thank you so much. You're a smart woman. I no appreciate worries. your call. <laughs> Bel- Thanks very much. Thanks, Pleasure. Belinda. Michelle from Pakenham. You are kind of for and against on this. Well, yeah, I'm, I, I love Ryan's passion. I really do. But in the cafes and everything, definitely get rid of it because when you're trying to eat, the smell just swaps over. It's disgusting. <laughs> but when you're at the football. In a local ground, an open, open air area, yep. I don't have a problem because, like I said, if I work, walk out of the MCG where they're all smoking, it's just disgusting. It's worse than being just sitting next to one smoker at the football. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It become, No, no, I see. It becomes like just an air of smoke as you yeah. leave the ground, right? It, it's disgraceful. I, I would much rather be at a local ground where there's a couple of smokers, whether they're off the other end or something, then walking out where everyone has been banned from smoking, so they go somewhere, they stay at entrances. But from I a, walk yeah. out of my gym and they're smoking at the front of the gym and I'm oh, like, well, people... That's not... I mean, why bother going to the gym in the well, first actually, place? I thought, well, that's like them the polishing, yeah. polishing off a packet of Tim Tams after doing an hour of cardio. It defeats the yeah. purpose. It's like fat people drinking Diet Coke. I mean, I think you've given up. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah I, that's right. I see what you're saying, but but back to the obvious point here, when it, can we're talking to the, you know, the shopping area, those mm. kind of precinct oh, areas. Yeah. Definitely. Ban it. It should really go because I was out with friends a couple of days ago, and well, they both smoke, and it's it so. Was so do you? Horrible. So you smoke too now then? No. Well, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, indirectly, there is going to be people don't get this, do they? Passive smoking kills. Do you? Do, can, can you? Can you get that through your head, people? Do you understand what we're saying I, here? I respect that. Yes, it is a health issue for yeah. all involved. However, there is another side of this story where businesses are going to suffer because cafes, Stampsy, restaurants, businesses won't make money if their customers are dead. 